Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. Hope you guys are doing good. So I wanted to come on here and talk about a young lady. A lot of people did not realize that when takeoff was shot back on October 31st slash November 1st, I still can't believe it's been about three months. But when he was shot and killed that night, there were two other victims that were shot alongside him. And one of those victims is finally up and speaking. And she decided to do an interview with the media yesterday, which I found just really fascinating. She's a young lady and her name is Sydney Lede. And she really went through it. She was shot in the head. And when you think about somebody getting a head shot, usually that's instant death. I mean, we see what happened to takeoff. But God was obviously with this young lady because not only did she survive it, She's up, she's talking, she's walking. I mean, as far as, I know she has a bunch of emotional scars, but physically, she's doing very well for somebody who was shot in the head. And it just amazed me watching her interview. The whole thing was just so sad and surreal. So I want to go ahead and share that interview with you guys in case you guys haven't ran across it yet. Go ahead and check this out. I'm Grace White. Many people don't realize the night rapper Takeoff was shot and killed in Houston. There were other people injured. One of them is 24 year old Sydney Lede. She was shot in the head in the early morning hours of November 1st, spent a week in the hospital and says it's a miracle she survived. Lede is born and raised in Houston and says she's been leaning on her family for support. It's a story we've been working on for months and waiting until she was ready to tell her story. In her first interview, she talks with us about what it was like being there that night and the wounds she's still recovering from physically and emotionally. Sydney, first, tell us how you're doing. Every day is different. I'm, I'm going through different emotions. Um, I haven't saw a therapist or anything so this most days I'm happy I mean well most days well, I could just to sum it up it's a mix of emotions so I have random times where I feel angry um a lot of I wouldn't say sadness it's um I have feelings of being grateful that I am still here. You've made a miraculous recovery. Tell us what you've been through. Uh, I really just can say I'm just grateful to be here and it's just like sometimes not real. Do you remember the moment you first woke up in the hospital? Everybody was around me. Well, when I first woke up, like I said, I didn't want to be there. I kept telling my mom I want to go home. Um, I had never been in a hospital like that. But I knew I remembered what happened because when I got, I was up the whole time um, after I got shot in the head and I called my mom and told her what happened and to come. You called your mom after you were shot? Yeah. And I... Uh, yeah, I told her to come to the hospital, but I ended up having a seizure. So I was on the phone with her the whole time. And uh, so you knew exactly what had happened and, and why you were in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, everybody was around me, my mom, my, my aunts, my grandma. I know you said you knew why you were in the hospital, but did you understand the extent of, of your injuries and, and what you had survived? Yes, I did. Um, I was up for the whole thing. I felt the sting in the back of my head. I felt myself falling. And the person I was with picked me up and we got 
in the car but it was just it was like a real like a scary movie really <laughs> to ironically it was halloween night i had i had on a um nun outfit i had blood all over me and you had dressed up for it for halloween mm -hmm. yeah and it was still my birthday weekend so you had just turned 24 yeah so i mean like any other 24 year old i was just out partying and celebrating because i really never dressed up for halloween and that was something i was excited about did you know the people there that night did you know takeoff was was there yeah i saw everybody that i've used um i'm used to being around celebrities so it wasn't because i used to live in los angeles so i'm never i mean it wasn't like a big deal it was just more so like a, you know just a regular party and had you been there the whole night or, or what time did you get to the um the bowling alley it was after hours so i got there around maybe 12 or maybe one o'clock because we were we had been to a few places like i said it was we were celebrating my birthday still and it was halloween and i told the person i was with i wanted to you know hang out tonight because i <laughs> have my costume i looked cute so um yeah, so we got there at like 12 a.m. and everybody was just hanging out. We had a few drinks. At any point, do you remember being scared before all that happened? Or was it, in your opinion, a normal night? Um, yeah, it was pretty normal in my opinion. Um, yeah, I didn't get scared. It wasn't any arguments or anything until the event was actually over. And... Um, yeah, that's when I knew something was wrong after the fact, because I thought these people that uh, were arguing uh, were just playing from, like I said, the energy that was in the room before everybody was around the table playing a game of dice. So I thought it was just like, you know, some friend, like friendly banter. But that argument or that arguing was kind of your first sign that something, something was going on. Yeah, because um Quavo he was upset so he and he I noticed that something was wrong whenever I noticed that he was really upset and he wanted he was finna leave so we the party wasn't finna keep going on and I saw whenever everything broke out and I tried to run but I didn't go that far so yeah it was like it was really like a movie like shooting all, like all the way until I got down the escalator into the car and I'm just telling a person I'm with like I'm scared like and I knew something happened to me from falling and feeling that um, stinging sensation. Mm -hmm. So you were actually running away when you were shot is that? Yes. Yeah so that's when I got in the car and called my mom and we were all luckily we were only 12 minutes away from Memorial Hermann. Wow so you made it down the escalator into the friend's car that friend took you to the hospital rushed you there and you said you spent how long in the hospital total? A week. What was it like when you when you went home? That's when the real stuff started like I had a panic attack as soon as I got home. Do you replay that night in your head and what happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had a panic attack. And I just remember I didn't really have an appetite. All I really ate was like fruit and just different stuff. I was nauseated throwing up all the time. Like, yeah, that was just, I feel like that part was just, even worse than the actual being shot in the head because I'm actually feeling, feeling, feeling all those feelings. Have you read a lot of the articles that have been published about that night? Yeah. Um, I'm a pretty curious person, so yeah, I wanted to know because uh, um, I was having memory problems and I couldn't really write like my name and stuff like that even to get discharged or you know sign certain things in the hospital so i was having certain problems at first did you realize other people were shot as well no 
I mean, of course, being in it, you don't, you ain't trying to get away from me. You're not, you're not, I don't mean to sound heartless, but you're not worried about other people. I was worried about one of my other friends because she, I know she was right there by me and I was worried about her because I, um, they told me she was at the hospital. So I, and I actually saw her or something like that. See, that's what I'm saying. Like I had to keep asking, like, you know, to like refresh me on certain things, but yeah, she ended up being okay. That you didn't realize takeoff was killed until After you got home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was that like to realize um, that other people were shot that night? I mean, I'm actually, I actually was going through it. I was sad that it ended up like that, but I mean, we were all in the same situation. Unfortunately, somebody else didn't survive and I was just um, grateful that I did because the place that it hit in my head, I just feel like it, it was a miracle. All right, so you guys just watched that interview. And the whole thing, like I said, is simply amazing. And the fact that she was dressed as a nun, I'm sure it was a sexy nun costume because I've been a sexy nun in the past. But the fact that she had on a nun costume, was shot and survived, um, that says a lot. I don't know, it just says a lot to me. But you can still tell she's suffering from anxiety and PTSD. And I just pray that she's able to just, you know, eventually emotionally um, start to feel as good as she looks physically. I can only imagine the trauma that she went through. And then to know that the same day she was shot, you know, takeoff was shot as well. The whole thing is just really sad. But anyways, y'all, y'all go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. How do you guys feel about Sydney sharing her story? Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Feel free to hit the like button. Don't forget to share the video. And most important, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.